up guys uh welcome back and yeah this is he king here bringing you a review or reviews on the last and newest chapter of black clover chapter 333 and 334 so yeah i'm doing a double review like i usually sometimes do and yeah uh the last chapter revealed a good few things. We got a bit of backstory with Lucius, Zolgetz, I think, uh, where we discovered that this is a character that was born with two souls, Lucius and Julius, Yin and Yang. So yeah, um, just going straight off of the first page, we see we see Lucius, he, it seems when he was born, he was always in a chair. And we see him watching these other siblings, uh, uh, I fought a lot, fought from his youth, full of great ambitions. I am the most talented devil host in the history of our family. By the way, before I continue on, remember to like and subscribe, guys. And yeah, continuing. Uh, a unique being born with two souls in a single body. So a lot of people, I just want to point out, a lot of people calling this repetitive, but if anything, um, this was just a set up. If there's one thing, a lot of people always say, it's like, oh, there's no good villains or great villains in Black Clover. There's no real villains in Black Clover. And the genius of Black Clover and its villains is the fact that its main villain was always there from the very beginning. And and they were setting the seeds. And every saga that we've got, uh, the Elf Saga and the Spade Saga, it was all built up to this final saga, to this final reveal of who the main big bad really was the whole time and why. Uh, Patry's and William's entire thing really was a setup for this. The, the confirmation that yes, there can be a body with two souls in it and this is one of those times, this is that, this is what it's been leading to and now we've got that confirmation that yes, there, that's what uh, Lucius is, that's what the Julius was, he was a being with two souls. What about what we might be and what we should do? Following Astaroth, the supreme devil of time magic, shall give me the answer to my questions. And we see him looking at these ruins, clearly the savior of the world and its floor. So clearly this dude, uh, he's, you know, we, we get this confirmation again that he's getting his devil magic from this devil called Astaroth. Astaroth, again, surely that is, that has to be a freaking hint that Asta is his son, right? Like, he's the son of that devil, maybe. Or maybe there'll be a twist to it. I don't know yet, but uh, I've seen a Julius, the future, true peace for this world. And we realize that Julius and Lucius were uh, talking together, that they were communicating. So what happened then? Was Julius aware this whole time? Or was this a case where Julius's mind was wiped by Lucius so he could forget about him until he could, you know, take over when the time was right, when his plans were said? Maybe we'll discover that they're... Well, let's continue reading here anyway. Lucius, that's... And this is Julius talking to him. Uh, you know, white panel with hands and then a dark panel with the hands. Uh, I also foresaw you attempting to stop me. How unfortunate. You, the one who is closest to me, even you cannot understand. What are you doing, Julius and uh, Lucius? And we see Lucius touching Julius, basically, his own. It's all right, Julius. I've seen everything. I will bring peace upon this world. And we're cutting back to the present time where, you know, Lucius is meeting with Asta. We're seeing Noel and Mimosa seeing this. And like, what? It's the Wizard King and uh, the Wizard King. And yeah, Asta's always like, no, that's not right. You just, who are you? Yeah, this guy looks, looks familiar, but he's also different. And then we get this big attack where... This time spear, whatever, appears around the entire building and everyone essentially freezes and then Lucius, you know, he goes to touch Asta and Asta goes into his devil union form and he backs off, he flies off and Lucius, you know, he's seeing this for the first, you know, he's probably seen it before, but he's seen it up close now, like with him taking over, he's seen this. So this is the power that defies reason, anti-magic. Time stopped for everyone except us. It's the Wizard King's magic, but it's on such a massive scale, yeah. I have taken in Lucifero, this guy, this key. It's like that, guys. What are you saying? You're Julius, but you're not Julius. You're human, but you're not human. So who are you? What did you do to the Wizard King? Asta replies, I am Lucius Zogratis. I am the savior of this world, and Julius is dead. The Wizard King. So we get this confirmation that apparently he's killed 
Julius? I don't think so. I think Julius will come back in some form inside the mind of Lucius because as we have get this confirmation, they are two souls in one body. So I don't think he's gone. I think he's been contained. I'm more worried about what's happened to Domin uh, what's his name, Domitino, but uh, Julius was on a mission for the sake of our ideals. There will be no sorrow, no hatred, no conflict, no discrimination, only peace. True peace. And us is like, he's just confused. True peace. What does this mean? And yeah, rightfully so. What does this mean? So this, this, this the big bad is like, like a lot of shown villains that we get is trying to do good. You know, he, he's doing evil for the sake of the greater good, essentially. And we get his little answer here as the ground is ripping apart. I'm going to fix all of mankind. After I've destroyed them, they will be reborn through the magic of my siblings. I'll remake them all to be happy and equal. So when he says the magic of his siblings, I'm getting the impression that obviously, you know, if you remember his siblings, they had, uh, you know, they had blood, bone, and muscle magic. I'm, a, you know, and my 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 thoughts were always like, uh, I don't know if I've said this before. Why didn't they combine their abilities to create some sort of giant demonic uh, being, right? And with him saying this, with him saying that, like, he's going to use his siblings' magics, I'm wondering if this means he's going to use that magic to essentially create humans through that magic, you know, with the muscle, the bone, the blood, etc. So, yeah, I'll remake them all to be happy and equal. And then to ensure nothing goes wrong ever again, I'll rule over them all as the final wizard king. So, yeah, yeah. What the hell are you on about? Don't worry. Everything is going as I foresaw it, except for one thing you so yeah we get this so even if Astaroth is and we don't know how this works we don't know if Astaroth is inside Lu, you know Lucius's body as well we don't know if uh, Lucius ate Astaroth's heart like he did uh, uh, you know Lucifero we don't know yet how he's taken that magic in we don't know how it works we don't know Astaroth yet we haven't seen him yet we don't know what the deal with him is we don't know if he's like uh, a devil that's you know he's using Lucius as a host or if he was a devil defeated and his heart eaten and now his power has been taken. We don't know how this works yet. But there has to be something there. There has to be some sort of a connection there between him and Asta. Like, I mean, the fact they just named for his Asta of Asta. Again, it has to be a connection, right? I mean, it's too coincidental. No life form should be born without magic. You are the flaws of this world. And to create a righteous future, I must remove that flaw. Hmm, okay. I think I'm getting the picture. Who are you calling a flaw, huh, you bastard? Basically, you're just some bad guy who's taken over the Wizard King's body, which is not the case, technically speaking. It, he, it is his body to take over. You want to destroy all of humanity? What a load of crap. The Wizard King risked his life to save us all. That's, that's the Wizard King that I, that everyone admires. There's no way the Wizard King would die that easily. So I'm going to stop you and save him. And Lucia's actually smiling. He's not even disappointed. He's not angry. He's not... He's not showing any negative emotion. He's showing very positive emotion. And he's like, I am stronger than Julius, you know. Oh, yeah, then? Then, yeah, he says, oh, yeah. And then uh, we see we see the time sphere evaporate. See, I believe uh, Asta might have used anti-magic here. And time resumes. Everyone's waking up. Everyone's moving again. You know, uh, Sister Lily, Mimosa, Noel, um, Nero. Right here, right now. And he's got the katana blade out. I'll surpass the Wizard King. So yeah, great ambitions will be fulfilled here and now. And that's the chap that's chapter 333, pretty much a confirmation of what Lucius's goals and plans are essentially, his ambitions if you will, and what the deal with him and Julius was and leading up to this fight that now we are going to get. So, moving on, on to chapter 334. Remember the guys to like and subscribe and yeah, moving on. So, yeah, we get this panel of Arstoni's devil form. Asta's devil union, which can even cancel out large-scale magic, is already overwhelming in combat. But he can only maintain that form for five minutes. That's something you have to remember, even after a year, to compensate for that shortcoming, Asta has come up with a solution. So in that year, he has actually, in fact, a year and three months, he has, in fact, come up with a solution. Partial new search of devil union. By limiting the release of anti-magic, he can extend the duration of the form to 10 minutes now instead of 5. Okay, so that makes the fight go longer. <coughs> Bless me. 
a fight breaks out between Asta and Lucius, a man on the level of Wizard King, right here, right now, will he surpass the Wizard King? And the answer is no, he won't, because this final arc just started, and this final arc is probably going to last for like a total of 150 chapters, potentially. So there's no way in hell that Asta is beating this dude right now. But uh, moving on. Uh, concentrate on a single point, not the whole body. Strong, denser, stronger. So yeah, he's got, he's trying, he's trying his best. Astro Boy is trying his best, and he's going for an attack. He's going in, he's going for a flash, and and he, and he swipes, he attacks in a flash. And this chapter is also called Fragile Soul. But Lucius avoids the attack by teleporting away, and he screams out to Sister Lily, Sister, get out of here, hurry. And Lucius, he ends up sending out these time spears. Magic that manipulates time is invincible. He's sending it out to Asta, and Asta is dodging these and slicing through these. There exists, there exists nothing in nature that defies time. However, if that invi invincible magic could have a natural enemy, it would be anti-magic. So yeah, where we get this confirmation that yeah, time, ma time magics enemy, it's anti-feces, anti-feces, anti anti-feces, or whatever you want to call it, is anti-magic, essentially. So Asta is the perfect opponent for, for, for Lucius, essentially, and why he would be considered a flaw. Uh, he is his most likely biggest weakness. So yeah, Asta screaming out to all the people, the debris falling anywhere, everyone, run away. And there comes Lucius, you really are quite an annoyance. And he's still smiling, I mean, this guy is keeping his cool, he's not pissed. And I like that, I think I think the best kinds of villains are the ones that don't let their anger consume them, and they're just calm and happy all the time, like, they're just relaxed, because they know they are all powerful, and they cannot lose. And, you know what, I, I like that. Yeah, it's a com common shonen trope, but I don't mind it. Hopefully this camera won't keep cutting off, but uh, so far, so good keep it like that. So Asta goes for another attack and we see like a silhouette of Lucius, damn you, but you know Lucius again dodging that attack. I touched him and he didn't change as I thought. What does he mean by that? So we've seen it several times when he's touched someone something's happened to them. So he's tried touching Asta and it's had no effect. So he's anti-magic essentially, I mean, or maybe it's because he has no magic really. It's not affecting Asta at this point. So yeah, Lucius cannot stop this guy with whatever powers he's trying to use on him. It seems the only way around anti-magic is physical attack. So now we see Lucius go in and he actually ends up punching a, a hole through, through the roof and blowing that roof away whilst trying to get to Asta. And Asta realizes this guy, he's trying to turn this into hand-to-hand -hand combat like him. But where, and yeah, he's remembering, he, you know, Asta's remembering his fight with Lucifero. It's very similar where, you know, you had a Lucifero trying to punch and knock out Asta, trying to kill him. But we're stronger than we were back then. And yeah, obviously he's referring to himself and Leap as there. It's been a year and three months now. He would have gotten stronger at this point. And he's going in for an attack. And uh, did it hit? I'm not too sure. You know, we see Lucius getting. Uh, we don't know if Lucius is going flying backwards or if he got pushed backwards. But we see, we see the boy. You know, we see Asta's book. He's Clover. He's Grimoire opening up and he's taking out one of the blades. And he goes for another attack. Now he's got two swords in hand. Uh, yeah, he's trying to. He, he's going for the swipe attacks. And yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know what blade he's using there. It's got the clover symbol on it, the free leaf clover. I can do this. But Lucius, you know, as expected, you're a force that threatens to destroy the peace of this world. However, as long as I'm here, I won't let you do so. And we we see Lucius transform into a very unique, unexpected form. At first, it's all black and it's all dark, but it fades away. This blackness fades away. And you assume it's a devil form, right? But it's not. It ends up fading away and uh, it's just pure light to the point where he looks like a freaking angel. I was born into a family of devil hosts, but by purifying the devil's power, I learned magic that brings sacred power onto man. This is what a true human looks like. And we see Lucius in what is essentially his ultimate form. We got his, he's got his Grimmore book out, we see it's covered, the spirals, the different symbols on it, and we see Lucius's true human form, if you will, it's, you know, six wings, a spear around him, or half a spear, if you will, you know, halo rings on top of his head, followed by antlers, he almost looks like a, a holy wendigo, if you will, but guys, 
this is essentially our first look at an angel. I mean, he says it himself. This is what a devil is when it's purified. He's an angel. Lucius is an angel. Even Asta's like, what is this key? It's not human, but it's not like a devil's either. So this isn't human key. It's not devil key. It's something else. And guys, it's an angel. We, I've been sitting here debating whether or not we would get angels in this final arc. Like, if there's devils, surely there's angels, right? And yeah, yeah, Tabitha's done it. He's given us an angel. The final villain of of this of this arc is a freaking angel, uh, or at least it's the very first form of what an angel would be. I mean, do they exist beforehand? Were there purified devils? Is this just something he's discovered that he's able to do? Or are we going to get some sort of big massive revelation that, oh no, angels do in fact exist in this world? Like, it's insane. And us is like, I lost track of his teleportation. And in that split second where, he, where Lucius is transformed, he teleports to Sister Lily. He's grabbed her, you know, he's grabbed her here and he's got his finger pointed to her head. And again, smiling as devious as he can. And, uh, uh, you know, Sister Asta. And, uh, Lu you know, Lucius is just like, my magic is soul magic. It transforms the soul of anyone I touch. I think a lot of people predicted this, that he has soul magic. Because if all of his other siblings have, because keep in mind... Astaroth is the one with the time magic. This isn't an ability that belonged to Lucius from the very beginning. This is an ability he got from a devil. And time magic belonged to that devil. This is something we, that Demino, Demitino discovered and tried to warn you know, Judas about before, you know, shit hit the fan. But yeah, we get this confirmation that no, in fact, uh, you know, Lucius's magic is so... Like, again, it's body, it's the body, it's the, it's, 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 yeah, it's body, bone, blood, muscle, and soul. So, yeah, with, with, with these siblings' magic and with his own combined, I can very much well see him being able to recreate humans again. He could very well do it now, in fact, which will, you know, brings up a very interesting question. Who are going to be the final antagonists that are going to, you know, who are going to be the henchmen working for? For Lucius, like, are they going to be his siblings' possibility? You know, possibly resurrected as purified devils, as purified angels, if you will. My magic is soul magic. It transforms the soul of anyone I touch. The soul is the source of a human's life, mind, and magic. What the hell are you doing? If I use the demon dweller, I'll cut sister too. Demon slasher won't reach him in time. Allow me to show you a truly happy human. Stop. And Lucius does his thing. Sister Lily begins changing in front of uh, Asta. The, the blackness consumes her and then it fades off. It fades away to light. And we get Sister Lily, Asta. And she has transformed into a horned sort of angel. All white. Please, for the sake of world peace, die. So this is like a big, heavy, unexpected hit on Asta. The person he loved the most. The person who was raised in, who he grew up with. The person who he admired transform me essentially you know not only be not only the person he considers his love interest but technically sort of in a way where his mother figure as well his sister figure transformed into this angelic being telling him to die and he gets slashed Asta just shot getting slashed by Lucius of all people with just his hand oh you fragile soul you can't beat me the way you are and there's Lily there's Lily with angelic wings standing next to Lucius, like it's insane. Farewell, floor of the world. A blow to both his body and his heart. And Asta goes down. He goes down. And the revelation that Lucius is basically has turned himself into essentially an angel and he can turn other people into angels that leads that leads to basically uh, the possibility uh, that uh, you know the antagonist, his henchmen, are going to be characters that we know and love. These are going to be characters who Lucius is probably going to take, and he's going to purify them into his uh, angel, into his angel army, essentially. And these and whoever remains, I imagine it's going to be Asta and Yuno, of course. They're the two main characters. They're going to remain with anyone else who's going to remain. I imagine most of the Black Bulls and maybe the Golden Dawn, they're going to team up and they're going to fight whatever has been transformed into basically a proto-angel at this point. But yeah, this is, this is, this is crazy. Like, this is such an unexpected development and I love it. I love this. You know, I'm sitting there, I'm going, man, I kind of want to see angels in this, but I doubt it's going to, 
Angels, guys. Angels. Lucy, Lucy. Tabitha Fox is just knocking it out of the park with this character. Like, like this is seriously, like, these last few chapters have been so freaking great in terms of just upping at the end for this final arc. Like, like, what, what, like... I'm just, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I am overwhelmed, but I'm overwhelmed in a good bloody way. Like, the, the setup, the build up to, to years of theories. Like, I mean, I already started watching Black Clover, like, I think, like, two years ago when the first season, you know, the complete season came out on, uh, you know, um, on Blu ray. And then I got the second season, I think, it was the last year, I think, or the year before that. Like, uh, Seriously, where's series three, man? Like, uh, you're taking a piss now. Like, hurry up and release complete series three so I can get series four. Uh, but yeah, like uh, the build up to that, man. Like the build up and the theories that Julius is is, is actually a bad guy. Like, uh, and, and it's gonna build up to the final saga. And it's gonna be revealed that he's the fourth brother. And then boom, here we go. He, he technically, from a certain point of view, is the fourth brother. Technically, he's the fifth brother, maybe, if you think about it. I mean, who's technically the fourth here? Lucius or Julius? Who comes first, <laughs> right? And then, and then now, and then, you know, the big revelation that he's got the time devil, you know, Astaroth, who may or may not be Asta's father, I'm just saying. And then the big revelation that he's a freaking angel? Like, uh, what? What? Like... This is amazing. This art so far is amazing. I, I know, we're only, we're only, what, one, two... Well, four, 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 four chapters in right now, but it's good so far. This is good shit, okay? I am loving this. I'm eating it up, and I'm loving what I'm seeing here. And the only thing that's going through my head right now is, is, is like, damn, uh, you know, when, when, when the anime comes back, if the anime comes back, yeah, they're gonna have a pretty fun time animating this, man, because, like, holy shit, like, damn. Like, seriously, Studio Perry, I better be looking at this and be like, yo, we got another bleach situation on our hands. What do you mean? Uh, well, we got uh, angelic uh, angels and, and shit like coming into play for a final arc in this manga. It's like, oh, not again! Like, you know, it's bad enough Bleach did it. Now, now Black Clover's doing it. It's like, <laughs> yeah, like I love this. I, I love, I love this uh, religious sort of uh, look and feel to this uh, when they do it. Like, uh, it's one of the reasons. Like, I, I got so interested in Black Clover with with, with the whole uh, edition of Demons and that. Like, I like, I like, I like that kind of stuff. And uh, I'm loving this. And it just makes me very curious where this arc is gonna go next and what the you know this big revelation of what a true human being or purified devil means like have there been others are we gonna are we gonna find out that no in fact angels do ex exist there is a god perhaps like so much to be excited for and man i can't wait to see where it goes like this is golden it's like it's golden i love it i love it like oh my god uh but yeah like i'm just sitting there going man where's the enemy coming back like i just i want to see this in anime form i want to see this animated it's Anyway, guys, yeah, that's my reaction, my review to Black Clover and uh, for this week. And yeah, man, I can't wait to see more. Anyway, guys, as always, like and subscribe, please. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and...